Yeah. Yes, guys, welcome back to another podcast with your boy Arms and my guys Briggsy. On today's one, obviously, we always talk about who's top of Christmas and all that. So before we look back at our positions, positions, predictions from the start of the season. So I think I've done all right, mate. I don't know about you. Mate, it's about the end of the season. Oh, here we it is go. about the end. Here man. we go. Oh, well, you can have as many as you want now, but I got zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have as many as you want now, but it doesn't matter to the end. Yeah. Does it? Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. By the way, I beg you lot at home, like and subscribe. It means more to us than you think. So, I actually managed to get one, two, three, four correct. I'm actually quite happy with that. And then on top of that, I got another one. Two, three, that were only one off. Did you have any that were close? Well, yeah, I had loads that were all close. Oh, yeah, bullshit. That was like all, yeah. Crystal Palace and Newcastle, just swap them together. And uh, Brighton and Fulham, if I swap them together as well. So you would have had two? I'd have had four then, if they swapped them around. Alright, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> one off, yeah. But Yeah, well, anyway, if we look at it anyway, I had um, Liverpool top of the league, that's the one I got right. I had Man City top, who were eighth. Yeah, I think that is one of the big surprise packages. I'm not well, they got a game in hand. If they win that game in hand, they go up to fourth. The third. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, they got to third because of goal difference. It's just, this will not stay like this. Oh, yeah, obviously not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. But if you did this last week, I mean, this is all switched worse. around. You would have had Tottenham at the top. Tottenham, you're Tottenham would have been top, yeah. <laughs> That's saying that. I've got Tottenham in sixth. And they currently are sat in sixth at Christmas. But this is the thing, this is why there's always this talking point because people like to say about how this whole if you're top at Christmas, then you're most likely to win the league, which you are from what you look at it. And it applies almost for the rest of the season, for the rest of the teams, which is why we're doing this little prediction thing. Well, I had, yeah, I had Liverpool second. Yeah. For their top. Again, my, my top four has been pretty close. I had Chelsea and United up there, they're both. Two off and one off from yeah. So I had Chelsea, Chelsea out. and Tottenham. With Chelsea a fifth, and Tottenham a sixth. But yeah, like you said, like this could all, Tottenham could be second by this the weekend. Yeah, they two could. Um, teams that are impressing that aren't doing well. Wolves are uh, doing a lot worse than I thought they would be doing right now for me. I had them up in seventh. Well, again, like, yeah, like, and the same with Leicester City. I had them in eighth. And then sat second in the table right now. Yes, you had Leicester in ninth. Yeah. <laughs> no. We had Arsenal in seventh. <laughs> oh my god, I had Arsenal in fifth. I'm ten off, boys. Ten off what they are. <laughs> this terrible. is the thing, because our ten looked like he had something going at the start of the season. Because they what they they played four games, one three out of the first four. They yeah. looked like they started alright, but we got Everton in eighth. Who are fourth, which they I think they'd be lucky to be at fourth right now. I don't know. I mean, they seem to be doing bits here and there when it matters, but they've gone for and they're lucky, they're lucky to be going for a bit of defensive minded. Yeah, okay. the games they played, they're lucky to be at fourth. Yeah, okay, maybe. I don't think they should, they won't, like, they won't stay there. They shouldn't, anyway. Um, my middle of the park was pretty close Southampton, Palace, and Newcastle 10, 11, 12. I was three off, two off. Well, Burnley, right. Burnley 10th. <laughs> Southampton 11. Well, Burnley, you, you say you laughed. You, you laughed. You, you, you were laughing at me. You were laughing at me. I said Burnley were going to do shit this year. I put the relegation. Burnley were 16th. I put the relegation. Are Burnley in the relegation zone? Are they fucking 10th? Are they in the relegation zone? Are they fucking 10th? Are they in the relegation zone? No, are they 10th? They won't get relegated. All right. It's looking more likely to finish in 18th than it is 10th right well, now. Well, let's check the leaderboard. How many points they off then, mid table? Burnley is 16th, 13 points. They got what, five points off game 14th? Hand, game in hand. Yeah, so two points off Leeds if they win their game in hand, which I doubt. Well, they will. Or they are three points away from 18th. They'll stay up. I don't think so. I think they will. Well, it's looking like. You laughing at me at the start of the season. Well, I'm Isn't that bad anymore? You've got to get relegated. Yeah, but they're not that bad anymore, is it? It's looking more likely. At the minute. You were you were laughing your ass off. They at me. won't get relegated. If they can, if they even get if they come close, if they even close. Six, if they come 16th or 17th, I was clearly correct compared to your I mean, You know that's in the Premier League stands not close. Well yeah, it is, because well, if they hit the 40 points. So if, they, oh, if they come 16th and they're four points safe. 
Yeah, but that's they're close. four points. No, if they're a game in hand, so if they're not in the drop by the last game, that's not close. I don't think. If it comes down to the last game, then I'll be like, yeah, fair one. No, I think if you're 16th and you're only three points ahead of 18th, then you you will. Yeah, no, because be. technically 20th, 20th and 19th will already be down by then. Yeah, but it's still, it's, so it means one game. They'll be pretty safe. <laughs> I'm not sure, because what, they've got Brighton down there, and I don't think, I think Brighton are slow burners, but they're going to pick it up. Two wins. Well, Brighton aren't bad either. Okay. But the bottom three are. <laughs> Fulham, West Brom and Sheffield United. I did say Sheffield United were going to drop off from last season, but I didn't expect this much. I put them down from Well, I, I, don't, I actually 13th. put them too high. I knew they were going to be shit. I put them 14th. I don't know why I put them that high. I just knew last year was a fluke. It was. It was pretty much a big fluke. In... To be fair, I had Crystal Palace 12th and their 13th and Newcastle 12th, um, 13th and their 12th. Yeah. It's, it's one of those, isn't it? Another one, another performer. Um, Leeds, I had them yeah. 15th and their 14th. I knew they weren't going to be. I knew they. I had them 14th. Everyone think they're going to get top 10. Shut up. Marcelo Bielsa. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> uh, to be fair, the one I've screwed up the most is Aston Villa, I think. Let's see, I had them 16th, they're 9th. Uh, nah, they're my second biggest scrub. I had them 17th. I'm eight off, but it's Arsenal's mate. Arsenal oh yeah, obviously off. Arsenal. But no one could have had, no one knew that was going to happen. Yeah, it's it's mad. Yeah, I got Brighton, Fulham, and West Brom. I had, and they're not really. You switch them around, really. Yeah. Well, considering, obviously, like this is only halfway, and I mean the points, the points, wait, wait. the points difference is very close, and all that. Yeah, like. Do you see it? Would, are you changing anything now compared to what you wanted at the end? Well, I changed Liverpool. Would go to the top. Yeah, hundred percent. I'd still have Man City round up there. Yeah, I would still have United up there, and I think City will. will catch I do I would keep mine. Be mine. mine mine's, I'd, I'd keep mine. I'd keep mine. Yeah. Apart from Man City and Liverpool. I'd sort of, and Arsenal. Obviously Arsenal. Yeah, I don't think Arsenal are going to get anywhere near up there. But other than that, I'm actually quite happy with that. Yeah, for me. Leicester. Likewise. They, Leicester went. I don't think they, they keep that form. They do it every year. If you put, I mean, they've, they've not drawn any games this season, so they're okay. clearly either winning or losing, which is which goes very well for a team. Because draws is what kills you. So the fact that they're not drawing and it's already 14 games in, I wouldn't be too surprised if they're knocking on fourth. So I'm I'm sticking with mine as well to a certain degree, but. Obviously, I'm having Liverpool City still as my top two. You just see how point, close the points are. Like, it, it's not, it's, it's good. Yeah. Someone was kicking off that all this is rubbish because the points are so low. I went, well, that makes it good. Yeah. You don't want exactly. someone running away with it. It's boring. Yeah. I mean, and the rest. Yeah, I think I think the bottom's still going to stay the same as well. Burnley, Fulham, West Brom. I, I do. I still do feel Burnley. Uh, they're scrapping. They're scrapping too much. I just think the teams have. are too bad for them to go down. I mean, yes, especially considering how Sheffield are playing. I mean, look at look at the bottom three, their next fixtures. The Burnley win, well, win their next game, they're going to bother Arsenal. And Arsenal have got Chelsea. But Burnley have got Leeds. Yeah, no, Burnley have beat Leeds. I don't think so. I, I, think, think, Leeds, I think Leeds are going to smash Leeds are too, they call it brave, but it's stupid. Look what Norwich did. Were Norwich brave last year because they kept their style of play? They suffered for it and went down. It's stupid. And it shouldn't be called brave, it should be called stupid. He's a stupid manager. <laughs> Don't come up here with your shit box team and start playing like you're a Champions League team. You're a piece of shit and I hope you go down. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nah, you know what? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it brave. It's not brave, it's I dumb. I wouldn't call it brave. Brave, brave, because they lost 6-2 to United. Brave, you call that brave? No, they're just, they're trying to sugarcoat it. Brave. You're going up but against Marcus is... Rashford, Paul Pogba, Anti Martial. You, you're not brave, you're an idiot. Yeah. It, do you know what it is? It's because start of the season when they. It's because they like the way he does some weird shit on the sideline. They lost four three to Liverpool. They thought they could be able to hang it with the big boys, but that was the first game of the season. It's never going to pan out like that. I think the Leeds are good enough to stay up, and they, they've got. A class I, I didn't say that I didn't think they were going to stay. I said I hope. They yeah, go yeah, down. yeah. I hope they go down. But, I hope they go down. Stay down. Don't come back. But for me, I, I, that bottom, that bottom. Wait, I don't even hate Leeds. Not. I just hate their fucking manager, mate. I hate him. 
Yeah. <laughs> nah, I think he's in it. I have nothing. I have no I reason him. to hate the guy. I hate him. I hate him. Anyway, I'm clearly in that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Yeah, that's another episode of Sanctuary Sport, guys. Please like and subscribe, it would really help us out. Cheers. Football is life.